Hey guys, welcome back to Gretchen's Vegan Bakery. Today I have another cheesecake for you. Yes, another cheesecake. I am obsessed with my vegan cheesecakes and the sky is the limit when it comes to combinations that we can create with this base recipe. So this time I am pairing up my red velvet cake recipe with the most amazing vegan cheesecake ever. I swear, just when I think I can't top my last cheesecake recipe, I go on and do something like this. So check out how to make this cake. It is a building on recipes project, so you will have to make the red velvet cake recipe before the actual cheesecake batter and for that you will need flour cocoa powder sugar flax meal for the egg replacer soy milk or any milk alternative that you prefer I am using vegetable oil today safflower to be exact but you can use any oil that you like to bake with vegetable coconut oil like whatever a spot of apple cider vinegar to create the reaction with the baking soda and there is a little bit of salt in this recipe too oh and vanilla extract so it is a really easy recipe to mix and you actually don't even need an electric mixer. First combine the flax meal with the hot water and let that stand to thicken for just about five to 10 minutes. Add the vinegar to the soy milk with the vanilla extract and I'm also measuring my oil into here as well. Now get the sugar to a large mixing bowl. You're going to add the milk and the oil mixture and then whisk it to combine. Now I am adding some red food color because we all want our red velvet cakes to actually be red, right? But let me just tell you something really quick. The first red velvet cake was not red like we know it today. It is actually a chocolate cake recipe where due to the reaction of the cocoa powder in the recipe and the baking soda, it caused a red tinge to the cake. So it was then dubbed the red velvet cake, but now we just add tons of food color to make the blood red color as we all know red velvet cake to be. And while I'm not exactly a huge fan of that, I do know that if I tried to pass off my chocolate cake recipe here as red velvet, most of you would tell me I need to go back to culinary school. Well, I just wanted to add that little bit of cake history. Now back to the recipe. All right, so add the thickened flax paste and whisk it smooth. Sift the flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt right into the bowl and then just whisk everything smooth and then give it about 20 strokes to develop the batter. Now you're just going to divide the batter into two greased and parchment lined cake pans and bake it in a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for just about 25 to 30 minutes. Next you can gather your cheesecake ingredients and you will need vegan cream cheese and tofu. Now you can use all vegan cream cheese here but I do like the lightness that tofu adds to this recipe soy milk or any milk alternative, sugar, cornstarch and flour, vegan butter, salt, and I do have lactic acid for that characteristic tang, or you can just use apple cider vinegar if you don't have that. Oh, and vanilla extract too. Oh yeah, now those are my red velvet cake cubes and I got a little bit ahead of myself. So let's rewind really quickly. Once the red velvet cake is completely cooled, you are going to take one layer and just reserve that aside for the base of the cheesecake after it has been baked. The other layer gets cut up into cubes, about quarter inch to half inch cubes, and also the trimmings here are not going to go to waste, so be sure that you save them all as well. All right, so now for the easiest cheesecake in the world, just throw everything into a food processor or a blender, except for the cake cubes, of course, and just process that smooth. Now I did add a red swirl to my batter and once I did it, I wasn't really sure about it, but there was no going back. So mm, I think it's growing on me now, but at first I kind of thought it was a dumb idea. So comment below, swirl or no swirl? What do you guys think? Okay, so you're going to bake it in a water bath in a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for one hour and then turn the oven off and let it stay in for another hour. Cool it for at least four hours to set and then you could just go ahead and unmold it. Now, I did go ahead and make a small recipe of cream cheese icing and this is completely optional. You can of course stop here and then just pop that red velvet cake base right on there. But as you can see, the cream cheese icing really does help, sort of like some glue to hold it all together. And I also did want to give it a very thin icing all over this cheesecake so that I could stick on my red velvet cake scraps. 
If you guys follow me on Instagram, a few people actually told me that my cake looks like a hot Cheeto cake. Hmm. And that may be so, but it sure did not taste like anything less than an amazing, creamy, New York-style red velvet cheesecake. This cheesecake is topping my list of favorites that I have made so far, but I will let you decide that. So be sure to grab the recipe at Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com. If you liked this video, please thumb me up and I would love it if you guys subscribe here to my channel for more great recipes weekly. All right, thanks to everyone for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. I know there are hundreds of other YouTubers sharing recipes and the fact that you give me some of your time each week to visit with me is awesome. I definitely want to give a special thanks as always to my patrons on Patreon and my pals in PayPal. You guys are seriously the ones who are making all of this happen. Your generous pledges are what enables me to buy more ingredients, keep my blog open. All of these things are not cheap and the pennies that I make on YouTube nowadays are actually pennies. So if you think that you can help me for seriously as little as a dollar a month, I would so appreciate that. I really love what I'm doing here. I am totally sharing my passions with like-minded people like you, and that's really the best reward that I ever could ask for. But of course, if you think you can help support this cause and keep Gretchen's Bakery alive, just click the link below and check out my Patreon page and join the other amazing people who are helping me. All right, you guys, thanks again so much for your support. And until next time, happy vegan baking. Bye for now.